It's that time of year. The Oscars is our final Jeopardy category. Players, here's your clue. The first time an individual won four awards at a single ceremony was in 1954, when his wins included best two-reel short subject. 30 seconds, good luck. John Folk, our returning champion, was in second place with 13,600. Your answer, who is Walt Disney? That's right, made many a short subject. How much will you add? $6,400, you're at an even 20,000. And for the moment, you're in the lead. Comes down to Stan Park. Stan, did you write down Walt Disney? Who is Orson Welles? No, I'm sorry. How much will you lose? 10,801. John Folk, you've survived a scare. You are now a four-time Jeopardy! champion with $103,800. Six digits. Congratulations to you. Yeah, just a cool hundred grand taken down by the Dodgers director of baseball <laughs> platform systems, so John funny. Folk. For folks at home, Matt was playing along with the question. I was. I thought I, sh I, th I should have had that. Like Walt Disney is is the answer. Right? Costas was playing along what too. What is Venus? No, no, Venus was not the answer to that one. Uh, so that was John Folk. He works for the Dodgers. He's agreed to come on and visit with us. John, good morning. Congratulations on a four-day win streak on Jeopardy. No small achievement, my friend. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I, we have so much to, to ask you about because we love Q&A shows and Jeopardy is the gold medal brand. So first of all, let's go in order. Um, as the director of baseball platform systems with the Dodgers and for the unindoctrinated like me, uh, you help and design the software that, uh, that the player evaluation team uses. Do I have that right? Player evaluation, scouting, performance science, analysis uh, basically everyone in baseball operations if they're using software we probably touched it yeah hey, wh while we're on that wh what are they asking for I mean outside of the you know everybody thinks Brian Kenny's show is all everybody looks at there's so many <laughs> other by the way algorithms. nobody thinks that <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what they're asking for is, um, so we all, I think everyone kind of has an idea that there's a lot of, a lot of math and statistics involved in analysis. Uh, there's, there's hardware and, and instrumentation involved in doing player evaluation, helping them measure their exercises, help, helping them to uh, just to understand what their movements are. Uh, scouts write reports. Uh, the front office needs those reports, needs the evaluations. All of that needs to run on some sort of technology platform. All of that needs to be made available for everyone to work with uh, across teams and, and to make better decisions and to do better planning. Uh, and that's what that's what we help with. So we oh. we have clearly established in the brief time we've spent together, See? you are no idiot, right? The guy <laughs> four days of Jeopardy wins and he builds these systems for a living. Harold John, and I are here congratulations, like we're here John. flipping quarters against the wall. That says you're uh, not an idiot. Hey, so let's ask you about I want to ask you about the test because John, I took the test to be a trivia uh, contestant on Jeopardy many years ago, and the exercise left me feeling like an absolute moron. It's really hard. Did you have the same experience? And did they tell Obviously you like not? He made the show. Well, yeah, but did they tell you like you got a hundred percent? Or talk talk about the test to get on. Well, I took the test. I took the anytime test online in February of last year. Uh, they don't tell you how you do, uh, but you do fifty rapid fire questions uh, just sitting there on your computer. And if you do well enough, then they contact you again to do an interview where you take another test online on Zoom with a, with a live person. Uh, mine was with Sarah from the Clue Crew. And you go through another 50 questions, and they, they don't tell you how you do on those either. Oh, it's all yeah. online now. See, when I did it back in the day, it was a Scantron test. It was like you filled in the bubbles. So I got about halfway through with it. With the SAT? Yeah, it was like that. I got halfway through it, and wow. I just filled in the bubbles to make the words Van Halen, and I turned it in. I was like, yeah, I got nothing here. That's it. That's so, John, it. when you're on the show, all right, you get through this process Matt's talking about, you get selected, you go on the show. I've always wondered, do they give you a, a group of things they may ask you? How do you prepare? Or is it just, we may throw anything at you? They don't tell you anything about what might be on. Uh, they give you some guidance early in the day before you start taping about what the rules are and about what you, you can expect from different kinds of categories that they need to specify because the rules dictate sort of what you can do within them, but they don't give you any information about what the subject matter wow. might be. The wow. only thing you have that you can study is old episodes of the show itself just to get a feel for how they write and what sort of things they like to do. So how, how, do you, how did you know or do you know 
what your strength category would have been or is? Uh, so surprisingly, sports is really difficult because it's a lot, uh, a lot of facts across a lot of sports that you really have to pay attention to everything for. And I really only do baseball. Um, but geography, history, uh, the social sciences and hard sciences. I have a physics degree, so I, I'm pretty strong in that as well. Um, I, I try to stay away from anything with the arts uh, because it's, it's harder to recall just the very specific facts that are in there. Uh, but even, even with, the, with the categories that you're weakest with, the Jeopardy writers are really good about seeding hints into the clues so that if you know things that are just related to it, you, can, you have some chance of figuring things out. In, mm. the, in the background of your mind. You yeah. got Matt over here drooling. I mean, this is really something that he pure, loves. It's pure jealousy. I am just green with envy because I wasn't even close to being on that show. So here's the irony of this, and you're aware of it, John. Like, one of the few questions that John missed was a baseball question. Oh, my. So we're going we're gonna to give you a chance to answer this correctly now. I, it, do we have now. the video of it, Wolin? No, Vol. Okay, so here was the question. Uh, here it is. There is zero casual jogging involved with this hyphenated type of home run. Inside the park. Yeah, I think you'll find, if you watch the video, I didn't miss this question. Oh, you didn't? Uh, no, but I did buzz in and then freeze. Ah, uh, that's so what happened. I, he hesitated. So I almost, almost missed this question. Uh, and all of my friends are like, you look afraid. <laughs> you look so afraid. If you had uh, missed that question, Lon Rosen would have shamed you into eternity. He, that it would not have been the worst of it. Uh, and Ken Jennings, who was guest hosting that episode, even commented right then in the moment, like, this would have been a real problem at work. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Were you ever tempted at any point to go into smart aleck mode and, like, quote uh, Daryl Hammond's character, his evil portrayal of Sean Connery on Celebrity Jeopardy and say, who are two people that were not in your bed last night, Trebek? That's what your mother told me last night, Trebek. Was there any of that that went through your head? Uh, no. You sort of you sort of think about it ahead of time, and then maybe between the games. But during the games, it's just it's just not there. I have a lot of respect for the people who, in addition to thinking about what they're actually writing down, particularly in Final Jeopardy, uh, are able to to work in some sort of joke if they don't have the right answer. Uh, and, and be able to be able to think on the fly like that under that sort of pressure, even about something funny, is just something super hard to do. Yeah, I've always All thought right. of that. Final Jeopardy, if you don't know the answer, you just write down the name of one of your buddies, and you're like, you know. You got a chance. <laughs> hey, so last thing, we're going to dive into the finances, as D-Row would say. So you won your 100000 right, million, let me lock in plus. on the financials. There you go. How how do they, they give you one lump sum, they take the taxes out. How, how's that, how do you get the money? I don't, I don't actually know for sure all of the details yet uh, because I haven't gotten it. And they, what, what happens is that you, you tape, I taped in December, it aired in February, and then they have up to 120 days after your air date in order to pay you. Uh, I believe it's coming in one big lump sum. I don't know about the taxes and they told us, told us we're not gonna tell you about the taxes. That's something you have to figure out yourself legally. Uh, but sometime around June, I'll be watching the mail pretty close. Well, we've done the math for you, John. Given that you uh, live in the state of California <laughs> and you won over $100,000 on Jeopardy, you'll be receiving a check for $756 in June. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> hey, man, thanks for being on the show with us. Uh, awesome to visit with you. We didn't even get a chance to talk about you're an El Paso guy and used to go to El Paso Diablos games back in. Do you remember Dan Plezak pitching at the Dudley Dome? Are you old enough to remember that? I've been to the Dudley Dome, but only when it was a hockey arena. Oh, man, wow, quite wow, a different wow, experience. Wow, wow. Hey, John, congrats I, once I, again. I so many questions for him. I wanted to know, like, who wants all the stats? Who, who's, who's the guy? Ask who him. Says, we still got him. All right, John. We can blow who, through who, who, What player or coach says, I, I, really, I want the most information? Who is that? I, I really can't get into what our players and coaches want. Uh, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. They, Andrew did good prepping you. I'll let you know, but you're not giving up the secrets. Good work. Good work. Right. John, thanks John, again thanks, for the buddy. visit. Thank you. Appreciate you.